Shock 202 coming at you with my very first Lego review ever. This is on the special edition Troll Battle Wheel. Well, ages 7 to 14, set 70041, and 508 pieces. Enjoy. Okay, on to the minifigures. First, you get this like Archer Royal Guard dude. He's pretty cool. I'll show you his helmet. Here's the top, some bolts. Looks kind of like a sunbonnet to me. Really nice shape, really nice color. There's a little hole in there for his head. And the texture is really amazing in this helmet. I love it. It's awesome. He has really cool hair. One eyebrow raised, one's like on his eye, which I think is kind of weird. Here it looks like it's behind his eye. His mouth looks kind of smirky, which I like. And he has a really nice beard. His weapon is what I believe they call a gavel. He has a strap on his chest, a belt, an insignia, some like silver and gold right there, and some chain mail. That's the end of that guy. And next guy. Here's kind of a normal knight. I really don't like him that much, but still, you might. Start out with this helmet. Helmet's cool. Texture on the back is nice. He has like a little nose piece, which I don't get why they bothered putting there. They don't have noses, so that's a little weird. But anyway, it's a nice detail. And here's his face. I believe that's Agent Chase's face, if you associate this with like all Legos, but I think that's what it was originally made for. He has a normal sword, small, like the handle's just big enough for his hand to fit, but actually I think that's a good detail to make the two swords different, but anyways, I don't like this as much. And the other weapon is really, really cool. It's like this kunaya chain, I believe it's called. All really cool thing. And a um, hook on the end. And originally... He, um, the kunai of chain is supposed to hook onto here. Really doesn't keep on that well, but anyways, it's cool. His body is not as detailed as the last guy. Smaller belt. Prince's crown, or king's crown, whatever you call it. I don't care. Here, checkered body, both shades of blue. And on top, some white or silver with some gold. No leg printing, normal gray, and no back printing either. Then, this guy. He's no different except for the last guy, except he has a, sh a shield instead of the kunai of chain, and his head's a little different. He looks smiley, and uh, he has kind of normal eyebrows. He looks really normal. He actually has a double-sided face. This side, he looks like a scaredy cat. This side, he looks normal. Shields, kind of like their body. Checkered, gold outline, and princess crown. Normal sword, same body, same legs. No back printing. Now on to the trolls, which are my favorites. Here's a normal troll. His helmet is really awesome. It looks like it was mixed in with rock and silver, which I think is really nice detail. Really cool texture. Yeah, his helmet's really awesome. And um, here's the head. It's the guy, normal. It's green, like all trolls. This has sort of... Nice fangs, mouth, glowing red eyes, which I kind of don't get, but anyways, it's like it's hypnotized or something, which I really don't get, but still. Look, lines on his cheeks, which I think is cool. And um, his arms have no sleeves, just normal arms. The chest is really the best part, really detailed. Some metal up there, little like cut there. 
chains leading up to an insignia. Sorry, my hand's getting in the way, so I'll let you see that. Little, like, smaller rip. Some laces and, uh, like a belt thing. I really don't get the belt. Let's see under that guy. And, um, this guy is exactly the same. I really don't want to show you him because I showed you the last guy. And, um, the only difference is that his helmet looks more silver than rock. I personally like the last guy better just because his helmet's darker. I don't know why. He's the best character in the set as far as I'm concerned. A troll war leader. He has a bronze or copper. I believe it's bronze. I just don't know though. It's chipped. I'd be impressed with the chipping, but that comes with all troll swords. So that detail gets kind of old. And so, I really don't like that they're doing that for every troll sword. Just like every troll is a veteran. Like, there's no new trolls. Which I think is kind of weird. Helmet's exactly the same, only instead of being a mixture of steel and rock, it's bronze. You can kind of see it more clearly, because the other one was a mix of colors. There's you know, it's cool. And the face is exactly the same. Red eyes, fangs, mouth take that away just for now and if you pop up his pop off his head you can see he's got this armor has a skeleton on it a little skull and some metal lining it really clashes with his outfit but i still keep it on because i kind of like it take that off to show you the under and under it is like bronze armor with that's strapped onto him with chains and straps. And uh, bronze armor is really awesome. And same belt, same legs, same arms, same back. Well, that's all for the minifigs. I want to show you the real set, main parts. First of all, you get this barricade sort of thing. Has six spears in the front. Gold on top of this, like, granite, I believe. There's grass under it, I'll show you. Look at that. that. There's grass right there. Dark green grass. And spears, they're bendable. And then you get this flag, which is actually made out of a lance. Nice detail. It looks kind of like it's flowing in the wind, which I like about the flags. Thanks, I'll just turn that away. And then you get the coolest feature about, about this, the catapult. Oh, sorry, my thumb got in the way. The catapult actually does work very well, but my thumb usually gets in the way. So I'm sorry about that. And the barrier is bendable, which I like. It's kind of weird, but still. And uh, I'll try to do the catapult again. See, it fires okay, but my thumb got in the way, and that's kind of a problem. And, um, there's some normal rock. As far as I'm concerned, and this thing is just going to get destroyed. Word for a couple reasons. The, under the tremendous weight, the spears would snap. Catapult doesn't do anything. Gold is just there for decoration, and granite won't do a thing you can fit too many figures behind there yeah or maybe four or more or if you squeeze them in but it's kind of hard i like only doing two because then it gives them some space they'd be pushing on each other and stuff so i really keep it to two and that's that barricade now onto the really main part of the set the battle wheel there's a stick in the back thing, which I didn't expect, but anyway, it's a nice detail. Helps it roll easier. It rolls very, very, very nicely. Yeah. It seems to roll better on bumpy ground for some reason. And it has two gavels sticking out of the side. I would show you the trolls behind there, but it's really, really too much trouble to get even one on. But I will show you the war leader or on top. Just give me a second. So he can fit right there, just barely 
If you remove the crossbow, he'll have a lot more room, but anyways, he'll fit up there. Sorry, crossbow came off. Anyway, up here, he can man the crossbow and shoot down some of the guys. And um, up here, looks like sort of the same material that the normal trolls' helmets were made out of. And um, the wheels are really, really big and nice. They're very durable. These little, like, teeth chip things. And um, right here, there's an insignia or banner. One of those. Those, it fits on there very nicely. A flag in the back on top of a gavel. Plenty of gavels in this set. And there's a firing mechanism. Right here, you can see a trigger. Now when you pull the trigger, her watch the couch. It fires very fast, which I'm, as far as I'm concerned, would just destroy the knights. It fires very well. Thank heaven it's not a flick fire missile. They're probably just used for detail. Everyone hates them. Um, in one flick fire missile, I actually shot off the mechanism instead of the missile, which is really, really downing. Just one more thing about the set is that one thing I noticed that's kind of odd is because these things are color coordinated. I guess it's just kind of to, so you can get an idea which part to put the poles on, on so you don't put them unevenly, which I actually like that Lego did that. So that's pretty much all of it. And I hope you like this review. I would recommend buying it on Amazon. They're trying to scam you for $89. I got mine for $57 off of eBay, which is a really good bargain. And so if you can find something for $60 or lower, I'd suggest buying this set. It's very durable. Plenty of minifigures. And um, just a very nice set. A very good buy. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.